It's a ghetto people song, only them can sing this world. It's a song for the poor who is facing suffering. It's a ghetto people song, only them can sing this world. It's a song for the poor who is facing suffering. Young Police Channel from Jamaica. Big up, Rastafari. Everton Blender said that. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video yes you know we're always still in time we're starting every day to all is you know look at your lcd and you will understand where we're going on with this video so prepare to be astonished by the revelation i had coming directly from a man whose cousin share a son with senator peter bunting this boy whose innocence was marred by an incident in which one of pete one of bunting's friend allegedly behaved inappropriately towards him underscore a more perversive problem in our society this isn't just a matter of isolated incidents but a reflection of a deeper systemic issue with our institution and among those who influence our nation's policies and law so why this man the trouble peter bunting um son is not being arrested and charged or inappropriately touching this little boy why in a jamaica when you're a rear admiral you get certain protection Yes, you know, even for trouble like a little picnic. In societies worldwide and Jamaica is no exception. Governance and lawmaking are largely given and driven by people who are considered intellectuals, elite. The educated individuals who carry degrees, titles and position of in positions of influence. These individuals with their PhDs bachelor degrees and others academic accolades are often viewed as architects of progress responsible for guiding the direction of countries however a concern in truth lies beneath this facade it's a front yeah, fraud some of the most significant contributors to societal harm are these very educators and intellectuals them worse than ebola who hold power not just through formal titles but also by shaping ideologies policies and ultimately the future of nations in jamaica as in many places the narrative of crime often fixated on the visible culprits the gunmen the street level offender those whose crimes are most apparent to the public eye these individuals why undeniably a source of local violence occurs a smoke screen, diverting attention from a more insidious threat. The real manipulators, the ones orchestrating the most detrimental impact on society, are hidden in plain sight. Among those in academic, governmental and corporate roles. I will tell you before and will say it again. The real criminals in Jamaica are educated people. Them, when look at that Bexton on the bus, I tell you that the people them when they have the PhD, the bachelor degrees, and other academic accolades. Jamaica's educated class, those entrusted with authority and influence, often are individuals whose actions, whether through corruption, ex exploitation, or abuse of power, cause widespread societal harm. Say no one, just look on the tree, judge them the other day with like a vibe scattered. Cause them get half a million US dollar. Half a million. 
So we as a people not even judge is half. You know, a judge is not incorruptible in Jamaica. Even Jamaica. But under a certain kind of judge, people have a certain philosophy and ideology about them. And worldview. No they are the ones who frame the narrative, no shape man. the laws and control the institutions. Sometimes prioritizing personal gain and power over public welfare. This is why it's crucial to recognize that education and intelligence alone do not equate to morality or public mind leadership. While society is distracted by the visible violence of street crime, there is a quiet pervasive erosion of integrity happening at the top levels of power. The criminals with degree, esteemed titles, and public trust are shaping a reality where justice, integrity, and transparency can be sidelined to benefit their own interests. It's essential to acknowledge and understand these powers dynamics to foster a more just, safe, and accurate and for these people to account in Jamaica. So in Jamaica, many of the most destructive forces in society are not found in the alleys or among the gunmen who are so frequently spotlighted in the media. Rather, they sit in offices, lecture halls and boardrooms, educated individuals with PhDs, bachelors and associate degrees. Those deemed to be intellectuals, leaders and influential voices these people, the so-called educators and policy makers, are the ones holding the reign of power, dictating the nation's direction and their impact reverberates far beyond our borders. Jamaica, like any other nation, places its trust in these individuals, expecting them to uplift society. But the reality is that many are instead using their position to benefit themselves after not the great societal cost. The gunmen on Jamaica's streets are in many ways a calculated distraction from the deeper, more entrenched forms of crime that undermine the country's fabric. Street-level violence and crime are undoubtedly harmful, but the cycle of poverty, inequality, inequality instability, they represent is often perpetrated and even orchestrated by individuals in power. Those with formal education and influence, these educated criminals who make the laws, direct public funds and control the narrative hold far more power than any gunman could ever wield. They manipulate systems from within, ensure their actions remain hidden or justified by complex rhetoric. While public attention is directed elsewhere, many people remain unaware of this truth. The real damage is done by those who seem respectable and trustworthy, who wear the titles and hold the credentials that signify wisdom and authority. It's easy to focus on individual offenders. The men with guns who instill immediate fear and chaos. Yet, the corruption, manipulation and betrayal of public trust by educated individuals are seen more damaging, creating cycles of suffering and impending genuine progress. The educated elites, politicians, bureaucrats and those within the financial and educational system often control the resources and opportunities in all ways to protect their own interests. Their power lies in the sub subtle of their crime. Crimes that are systemic and hidden behind policies, changes, budget allocations, are selective law enforcement. These actions might not be the headline. Yeah, it will not make the headlines, but they shape the nature's, nation's future. 
making them the real orchestrators of much of the hardship faced by Jamaicans. To understand Jamaica's issue, one must look beyond the streets and recognize the role of the educated elite. While gunmen might control neighborhoods, these individuals control the nation, shaping the policies and laws that govern all Jamaicans. It's crucial to acknowledge and hold accountable the people who behind a veneer of respectability abuse their knowledge and position of influence to perpetrate a cycle of exploitation and inequality. Only by addressing this deeper structural issue, issues can Jamaica begin to achieve justice and meaningful progress. So everything we say happening in Jamaica, I, I rich people them behind it. The same people them are claim say them are educators and all of these people. These people are devils in disguise. So I make you listen to this man. This man um cousin of a son with uh, Peter Bunting. That are the same little boy where the man trouble and Peter Bunting said nothing wrong with it. So you watch, you listen and you decide. I will tell you over here you know over here is on an entertainment channel so you know these are for people who want to understand what is happening in, in a Jamaica. Oh we can't take back Jamaica from these people. So you watch, you listen and you decide. I, I mean, I, I watch your videos a lot. I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. Okay. I think Jamaica needs to ap appreciate what you're doing, especially. I was shocked when you exposed Bush Bantan for the murderous person that he is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I watch a lot of your videos. And I used to like him. He was the first album I bought. But since I watch your video, I get to despise him. I don't want to see him. Yeah, man, the man, the man, I see it on himself, man. Yeah, that, that, that is... Uh, a terrible human being, yeah? Very. Kill the man because... Um, the man write the album he, and I want to give the man any money. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's kill the man, amazing. Kill the man over him, own, over him own work. Yeah, yeah. And then the person, them where him, I have to kill, uh, have to kill the man. Him get men to kill but the same people, them. Right, yeah, yeah. Mm. Give it free son and his son, right? Yeah. Mm. Wicked, oh, wicked brother, man. Terrible human being, man. Mm. Terrible human being. But my, my issue is, I mean... I, I, is, um, I don't like what's going on in Jamaica right now. I don't know if you, is, uh, I mean, you talk bad against the PNP, so I, yeah, man, that's, I would, no, no, look here, that's say what you ask, man. Cause look here, over no. here, over here, so we don't, we don't want the balls in the body and them thing, now. We're not upon the site, we're not upon, we tell it, uh, look here, I mean, I tell you this now. No, 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 no. I, I agree with every word you're saying, yeah, so I'm going to, yes. I'm going to say this. Yeah, so may I tell you, sir, we don't want the balls over here. We're not talking about power, but we don't say it's straight. As I said yeah, before, uh, you have two politi you have two political parties. One of them is a criminal organization, and we see. The PNP. Yes, yes. you understand, and. Okay. And, and, and um, they, they, they are they are Alaskas. If you are looking to them for fix crime in a Jamaica, no, 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 that would be like that. That would be like Mandes, um, when him asks Wapa if Wapa I kill him, and Wapa say no. That is like yeah. him so, Mandes so. Mandes giving Wapa the gun and Wapa kill him. So if you yeah. ask if, if you are to look to the PMP for crime and for restore morality to Jamaica, then you know might as well <laughs> hear us. It's like giving the arsonist gal gasoline for throw on the fire. So you can't look to them. So they they're Alaska. So the only the only thing we have now I I Jamaica Labour Party, which is a little bit better. We never say better, yeah. a little bit better. Because you understand what I'm saying? Reason being yeah. and the reason being we are gonna tell you that now as a Jamaican and as all police is that they have dismantled the system. Everything that works for reduced crime, them dismantled. You used to have a thing when yeah. they, first we used to have a, a, a police division in eradication. Yeah. Yeah, at two thirty Spanish town. The PMP them dismantle it, them use a criminal a brother way in a criminal and turn him in a commissioner of police named Macmillan and him dismantle it. Him did eat the uh, eradication police because them kill a whole yeah, yeah. kill a whole heap of Jamaican criminals. Yeah, so them right, dismantle right, right. it. And you know and then you have a thing when you have Kingfish. Kingfish was very, very effective. Them dismantle yeah. it. You understand? So now right. them don't know them have C TAC. What is C TAC? So anything, anything that is effective in reducing crime, them all is dismantle it. So both of them, and remember, you know, how you fight crime on them thing, eh? it's not visibility, you know, you have to be, you have to use detective, and that's yeah, how you yeah, catch yeah. a criminal yeah. them. So what they have done, they make sure that all of the police vehicle them, the criminal them can't see them from a mile. <laughs> yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So that's, that it was deliberately done. So them dismantle it, so you have a, you have an intelligence agency where the, everything where the British left, 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 you know, and, and them gave us as 
um, as Jamaican in our police force. Them dismantled it. So the PMP, right. what they did now, they dismantled Special Branch because Special Branch was the one that outed them um, when when Colin Campbell received the when Colin Campbell received um, oh, the the traffic euro money. Yes. So that's why the PMP came in. Uh, Owen Ellington tell them say yeah, tell the PMP them say yeah, them do it. So them dismantle it. Mm. Yeah, that how, you understand. But sure, you know, yeah. or, or the GLP, you know, so the GLP is in bed with the criminal them too, you know. Anything, mm -hmm. anything. If you realize that everything that is good for the country, they, these people dismantle it. What you supposed to do when you when you when you come in a power, you reinstate them. Them not do it. So what right, they, right. what they have done then now, even at the same time now, them take the detective them off high street and start use uniform police. You and I as Jamaican know say uniform police from ever since was the beggy beggy police them and licky yeah, yeah. and licky licky police. Or you expect crime or you expect crime to reduce. When you have a thing when you have OST, the same police them with the OST. And them see them on a in vehicle and care all people go broke store downtown. I talk to a brother, me talk to a man who come from my community in a Kingston to him. I not talk to the, the name where and a same police yeah, yeah. a Kingston West when him half a dog. Him, um, half a dog here, them go broke store and all them things. And them lock up half a dog for broke store. And them have to let him go. Police have to wow. go. Because him have secret for police them. Because him broke store him and the police them. So, that I, so you understand? So that's how we, yeah. we are in Jamaica. So the detective now. When when you grew up in Jamaica. I don't, we, uh, where in Jamaica are you from? Uh, St. Elizabeth. I left Jamaica when I was young. I left Jamaica when I was 10 years old. Enough, so. mm, okay. Oh, yeah. which, 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 year, which year that you left St. Elizabeth? Uh, 1992. 90, okay. And when you left St. Elizabeth, you have one police, have one, pol one police a year about all the way, named Bagampan, <laughs> don't it? Yes, I, I heard of that police. Yes, okay, uh, all right. And it was one police and a St. Elizabeth that. You don't have no police like that again in a St. Elizabeth when nobody free that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, he used to, I heard he used to dress up like a woman, you know, to mm, catch bad man and kill them, you know. Mm, I heard he did that before. Yeah, man. Yeah. One, and uh, him alone. <laughs> they named Chambers. Me, me know him and him yeah. too. They come to work at St. Louis. So you don't know, you know, have a detective like that anymore. So both political no. party make sure that that is, so that's why the criminal them are roaming street. Because you serve a detective now, when the boy them are get trouble, you go and you warn them. You understand? You make them know, say, hey, me know, say, I get trouble and all of them things. Some of them run away. Some of them them are changed and you'll be able to catch them in them act and then you understand them are challenging yeah. if you send them my departure on. The P the PMP and the, G, the PMP make sure them this them put them in their office and then the GLP come and change it. So that's why the crime is at where it at. Both of them in a cabal, you know. Remember say I educated people they my criminal of Jamaica, you know. Most people do not know that, you know. You see look man them with a fire gun, they're my distraction. The real criminals are people they have a PhD. And the bachelors and the associates, them are the real criminals. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, tell me something. What mm -hmm. do you know about um? What do you know about this the killing that happened in in Top Hill, Saint Elizabeth? In where? When, in Top Hill, Saint Elizabeth. Are you you're a police? You, you have to maybe you know of it. Because I was young. Which which killing? Which killing that? The killing that happened with the two children in St. Elizabeth. I think it must have happened about 1989. Oh, oh you talk with Michael Manley when I had a bed and everything, yes, eh? Yes, yes. That with was it, in the 80s. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but when I po when I police were involved, the so oh, same place over South St. Elizabeth him come from. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Uh, he come from the same place down there. Oh, wow. I didn't know that the police was involved in it. Because yeah. I, I keep hearing the story. I know they put up a plaque. Oh, uh, um... I, Near the the, the, the community where it occurred, mm -hmm. and they call it political upheaval or something. I took a picture of it, but um, so Michael Manley went to to kill uh, the guy named Cecil July, yeah, and they didn't find him. Uh, there were two kids that came home from school to eat lunch, and they saw this whole commotion in the yard. And I heard they went under the bed to hide, and they they searched the house and saw some figure under the bed and shot the pit of them dead. Mm. Kill him dead. Yeah, yeah, that's true, man. And, not, not and about Michael that. Manley went home to his children. The gunman then went home to their children. And the, and the woman, Pitney, then went to the morgue. And I heard she went away to Canada and never returned to Jamaica. And she closed up the room where it happened. In. It, ha it occurred and never opened that room again. Mm, that's, what, that, that's true. Yeah. I wish someone would make a video of this of this um situation. Because this atrocity? Huh? The, the, um, of this atrocity? 
Absolutely, because these younger Jama Jamaicans don't know anything about Michael Manley. They only heard that Michael Manley is the greatest prime minister in Jamaica. But I have never, I, 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 I look here, Michael Manley lift me up on my little boy more at one time, you know. Mm -hmm. And you never, you, you have, you have, have you ever heard I said anything good about Michael apart from uh, the only, the only good thing that, my, uh, I see me and him thing there. You see, when you do mm. evil, but I don't really talk about the good things and what you do and them thing because life, no. you see, life, life is precious. Right. You understand? So, as, as a little boy, Mike, a three time Michael Manny lift me up, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you understand? Thank God. Yeah, man, but, you know, John Stone. I wish someone would make a video of John Stone. What, isn't that his constituency? No, that was Tony Sparling. But John Stone, I believe, I beast. John Stone is where crime, the birth of criminality, starts in Jamaica. Oh, it, really? Yeah, man, the killing culture, a man who named um, Feather Map and Bury Boy. That's where criminality birth, the birth of criminality. That's how a baby oh, wow. born. And then the baby, you know, offspring starts, spring up all over. John Stone, John Stone. And, uh, John Stone and a zinc fence community like Waterhouse, where, crim mm. where crime start. John Stone and a birth of criminality, where Feather Map and Bury Boy, they were known murderers, mass yeah. killers. For a PMP criminal organization. And Michael Manley put them on pedestal, put them on platform. Just like how you see the other day, um, Baby Trump put Vibes Cartel, the murderer, Isaac yeah. Buchanan, the convict, the court dealer, the youth, the, the man, the clansman, the, the clansman, the young leader. Most Jamaican even know him. He was there. That I brother when him, we just put out a video about him named Courtney Samuels, aka Stamatero. He got a prison oh, yeah? in America. He my brains behind clansman. So that's why oh, they wow. put them up there because I fear them off driving IP because that's how them for them that's how them operate. You understand? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I, I wish th this Michael Manley thing, because these young people are being convinced by their older people that Michael Manley is the greatest prime minister. Yeah, man, Michael, Man Michael Manley, let me tell you. The two worst things where let me tell you, Michael Manley and the PMPI are the worst thing where happened to Jamaica. Michael, I know. <laughs> Michael Manley is the man who import terrorism to Jamaica. Remember, yeah. I said, at 2,500 young men in Manson got Cuba were trading for come back to terrorize Jamaican people for make oh, him wow. stay in the power. You understand? The number, Brigadista, all of these men that were, went to Cuba to train, they weren't police officers or soldiers, they were criminals. And they trained them for, in their use of firearm, firearm, explosive, and guerrilla warfare. And they come back and they use it. All of the empty buildings that you see in the metropolitan era, yeah. these are the work of wow. these men, the Brigadistas. You understand? <laughs> So, I mean, I would love for this video and another thing that for people to make because they, they can use, you know, it doesn't have to go into exactly blood and gore and showing, well, they can't show the children's face, but someone should make a detailed AI video because you can use AI and, and create this video, someone who has knowledge of this and put it out in the public because the PNP are trying to dominate the social media space. With, you know, well, well, because someone, um, because yeah, you have to understand, say, most of the PMP criminal organization supporters, activists, and voters, they're not reading it. Everything them tell you, say, I was told. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. And and I saw Daryl Vaz also. This is, is so interesting. Mm -hmm. Daryl Vaz stood up in Parliament and he said, um, uh, it was DK Duncan mm -hmm. who burned down my father's brazier factory or a factory on Spanish Stone Road. Mm -hmm. And the PNP in Parliament were up in arms and saying he shouldn't have said that and, you know, let bygones be bygones. No, man, you can't let bygones be bygones. I, I, did, I, didn't yeah. even, I didn't even know that that it was another team came out and said it publicly. Yeah. Yes, I heard it. I heard it. Um, he said that in, in, in Parliament mm -hmm. because he has par parliamentary uh, protection and also. He can say whatever he wants in Parliament. Mm -hmm. So, Interestingly, you know, I saw a documentary on DK Duncan. He was he went to school in in Canada, mm -hmm. and then he came back as this radical socialist person. And during that time in 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 Saint Elizabeth, I was told that they they were having a, a, a labor right meeting in a place called Great Bay. Well, the, po the, po the, po the police were used to bodyguard DK Duncan. He come from over St. Elizabeth. He's on the channel to him, named Piggy Williams. If oh, really? Look, yeah, man. If you look on it, man, he's on the channel to him, named PMP Paraphernalia. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, man. He so, come, come from over the so, same place which was the killing happened. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, um, when he came back to Jamaica, he joined the PNP and was in ranks with them. He burned down the factory, all right, as he burned down many labor rights businesses. But so hypocritically, in the 19, I think it was 1992, mm -hmm. his children started this investment bank. Um, R, it's not RBTT. It's, um, what's the name of that bank that they own in Jamaica? They, they don't, and they own this investment bank in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. After he burned down labor right business, capitalist business, they started the ultimate capitalist business in the world, an investment bank. Mm -hmm. And that is the hypocrisy of the PNP. And someone need to make videos of these things and put them on the internet and do not care who is um, offended. You're not trying to appease the devil. Well, that we don't care if the devil is offended. Well, if you if you listen to Jamaica Young Police Channel, you realize that you know that over here I don't I don't do things because I want people to like me. I just tell people the truth. And that's why I, I wanted you to call because I think I know that you don't care and you'll speak the truth. And if someone could, you could have somebody who knows how to make these AI what do you call them videos. You know, it, they're very inexpensive to do, but it's just personal how to use the software to do it. Well, yeah, well, and, well, you can, you can't get somebody to do it and send it to us, you know. And we'll go over it and you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I, I really don't know anyone. I wish I did. I but, wish but, I did. But, 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 but you are the one that says it's in, in, inexpensive. That's why I would say, you know, since that, yeah, you yeah. have that information. Yeah, because it's, it's, a, it's a software that they use and they just put the words and they, you know. They oh, speak. and the AI, AI generated. Yeah, the AI generated. So mm. that's just how it goes. It's And, you know, it's not, it's, it's just a software. It's nothing costs any money. But I just don't know. How to do it nor do i know anyone that knows how to do it because it, they use them all the time mm -hmm. to, to to make all kind of video mm -hmm. and it it it, it 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 these videos are getting underneath the pnp skin well, <laughs> and I, that's I, what i, I, I want look here. to do they will uh, all of the channels still there they not like this channel look like, at them you understand I know. we, it, te it, we it, tell it, the truth because we're from the belly ib so we don't want the balls yeah. in the body right right yeah, but if you want to know, if you want to know more about um, you know Jamaica culture and the crime and everything, eh, you subscribe. And if you if you want to know some in depth things, yeah, when you, yeah, ah. you sub subscribe to Patreon and you choose the higher tier where you say um, proud in farmer. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. You right, join, right. You, 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 so you know if you want, we send you the link and everything. Eh. Yeah, you could do that. You could do that. You could do that. Yes, and you know you you be you 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 will get some information about some political figure in a Jamaica that you not even didn't know anything there. Who is responsible for killing of um, Douglas Chambers and all of these things. You yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. All right, yeah. we think about what you say on them thing there, uh, with, yeah, the, with the AI yeah. thing, but right now we have a whole heap of things. We have a whole heap of work on them thing there. You understand? But, you know, we, we, we tend to always cater to our people them in the Patreon squad. You understand? them? The, you know, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, now, you know, like you, you know, you, you know, you, you, you're talking with us and them thing there. You know, it's, it's a joy talking with somebody who listens to your channel and them thing there. You understand? But you know, I listen, I listen to my it's a great channel. Yeah, well, most, well, look here, most of the people that listen to your Jamaica Young Police Channel are educated people, you know. I tell you that if you, I don't know if you, I don't know if you had listened to the, that's why I would tell you, say, if you listen to P, and um, you subscribe to Patreon, uh, you'll get fear one of the most intellectuals i'm jamaica who live uh -huh. in america and him tell you some and you will hear some things and you'll understand why we are at this junction of jamaica with crime yeah you yeah, yeah. understand yeah. So, you know this channel is not entertainment you know we just tell you as it is whether you like it or not and we don't, we don't care about people's feelings we don't yet we don't we don't we don't tiptoe around any issue or anything there so just like our like a video we released this morning and is a seven uh, a six part series uh, mm -hmm. You understand, with one of, one of Jamaica's favorite bloggers. But well, we tell people you shoot and people run and them things. Because they must scam, yep. you know, they must scam, you know. Because yeah, if, if you cannot tell the Jamaican people who will win the local government election, right, uh, right. Uh, that means you're a scammer. Because but, but talk the, the, the bank that they own is called the JMMB. That's the Duncan's bank. Oh, after okay. They, after they burned I know, down I know. all the new bright business, mm. 1992, they started their own bank. Yeah. A capitalist bank after they burn on capitalist business. Mm. 
But you know, I was hearing something. I don't know if you know about it. That I heard that um, Peter Bunting. Yes. He's like the top batman in the PNP party. <laughs> He's the top batman. Well, he's what he's well well he's one of them. So so uh, so uh, you remember the time when him losing going in Portland. Yeah, he lost his laptop in Portland. Yes. Yeah, yeah, man. Then, uh, then I want, and then there's a, a is Ian a rear admiral was there, man. I don't know, I don't know, breaking or anything like that. Ian who? A rear admiral. Oh, a rear. Him and uh, yeah, um, he, he has a he has a child with my cousin, you know. Hmm. Yeah, he has a um that son, that ten year old child. What what, 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 what the man feel up? Yeah, man, that's my the, the boy is my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so where is he look up? So why? So the mother, the mother, the mother don't live. Oh, she lives in Jamaica. Yeah, she lives uh, in Jamaica. Yeah. So why she never did have a child in America? Ah, uh, she left the child up, up there uh, with, the, with, with with the father, and then she. No, she wh- no, Mister. No, why, Mister? Why she never have a child in America? Oh, why she didn't? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure why she didn't have the child born born in the U.S. I'm not sure. Mm. Maybe because the father wants him to be born in Jamaica so he can become prime minister one day. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, could, be, could be that reason. Uh, yeah. So uh, um, I heard a story that one thing, whenever they, they use them from the PNP, why all go there and try, you know, get money for to help with tuition and school. I just can't read them off now. Why? At first, man, you don't tell them things. Yeah, and here's the, um, in real part, they, they, they pick me them. Mm-hmm. Who um, ask him for money and stuff, and, and, and grind him out for money? That's why, if you look, if you listen back to Lisa Hannah, mm-hmm. she wants to change the law in Jamaica so that you can be charged for 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 a man can be charged for raping a man a, a male. No, but that a legal that a legalized in woman because the rectum is not a sex organ. So that a, right, right. Hey, you have to understand you know. You see, all of them things that where Lisa and uh, come come with them thing that I just smoke in America. Cause she support, she support. Hey, look here, I want, I want wicked woman that too. You know, you know that though. I know, I don't, I don't like her. No, oh, okay. I don't, I don't like you know, so Lisa her. and you know, so she destroy Queen Africa and Queen Africa P M P more than she. You know. Really? She, yeah, I mean, you don't know that <laughs> the P I P M P mash up Queen Africa career after she got oh. stadium and say. And she said, big up uh, uh, every woman who have pit, pit near, um, pit near and big up your baby father. Lisa and I come out and say she homophobic and set the, the international uh, rear admiral community upon her, man. Really? Yeah, man. And she lose millions. But right now, she's still a PMP CMA. That's why I tell her, say, PMP is a cult. You know? it's, a, it's a cult. It's a criminal. Yeah, man. Pe- member, man. Yeah, man. People them can't think. Come here. Like for me, you know, you couldn't do me that. And me still say me a PMP. Period. Yeah, yeah, Cause yeah, Mr. Man, yeah. Mr. Man, made very unforgiving, you know. Cause it's like me, you know, as a police. Not only what them do to my community, why me, me. That's why I tell the people, say they're a criminal organization. I tell you some things where PMP do police. I'm, I show you how police are dummy, you know. The first thing where a PMP do when we are to police, when we are police, them take immigration from police. Jamaica is the only country in the world where the first uh-huh. line of defense to enter, enter and exit and leave and exit in the country is controlled by know. civilian. Immigration. Right. Immigration right. supposed to be law enforcement. The PMP turn it and, and guess what? That's why I'm telling you say GLP is just a little bit better than them. And them not change it. You understand? Right. Right. Yeah. Right. So right. Uh, private, so them privatize it. They make them friend. And the GLP, them no. Because all of them are friends in all of them in a cabal and them thing there. You know? mm-hmm. So them take it from them. Anyway, I don't say I got it um, um get back to become prime minister. I'm gonna take it back because I'm on a security. The PMP is yeah, all about yeah. hustling and criminality. Bad mind, bad mind and pocket watcher. So them take with yeah, that man. them take with that yeah. from the police. May I tell you what them do again now? Um even um the same call no name brand police when you Isaiah Leng. Some uh-huh. people me talk with all the man, you see man uh, you got here the man say boy, him say no leng and him say leng a PMP more than Michael man. Isaiah Leng. Uh, yeah, wow. that, yeah, but Leng, but between me and you still I, I, I can I don't know know about that for a fact say my PMP because me and him never discuss nothing about him political affiliation or uh-huh. anything like that. You understand? So I cannot um, attest to that. So the man a PMP. You understand? So now, I, I know bigger food is more PMP than now. Ma- Michael man. man, yes man. So <laughs> and 
And I PMP see one of them destroy Isaiah Allen career because pocket watching because streamer make money from Sting and all of them things. Yeah. So them divide and them say too much PMP. You understand? From my community of jungle. And I just saw it go. So them do that. So them mash so them make sure a PMP now and respect for the police. So them bring in a man where who want a police and turn him in a police. I PMP first start, you know, start corrupt the police, start corrupt. And them corrupt Jamaica, you know. A woman, mm -hmm. a woman have no certification in a police, in a policing, and you have to turn him in a commissioner of police. That means that 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 will show you say them have no respect for the people them were a police officer in a police force, you know. But no, for PMP police them, them still that still that's a PMP. Me, I was upset on him thing. Them, I said, oh, this man, he not go through all of the training them like we, he not go through all of the all of the certification them, and then them turn him in a police. But Jamaica PMP I country. So them yeah, ride, them ride, them ride with it and bring in it because him see one PJ Patterson so he can have a corrupt police force investigate itself. When when in reality, a really true matter because a police force should have lock up PJ Patterson for him crimes they him commit when Michael Manley was prime minister. But because the police force itself is stuck with PMP criminal organisation right, right, activists, right, right. them protect him, them investigate him. It's like how they lock up Royal Reed. And all of them things. Yeah. Then the PJ Patterson should never become pr Prime Minister of Jamaica. But I saw Jamaica still doing you know, it. Whether or not you want to believe it. Jamaica loves criminals. You understand? Yeah. 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 They love a, they well, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what. I, I, I'm going to tell you what. Prior to, 1960, to 1972, Jamaica hated criminals. <laughs> yeah, that is After true. Michael that, Mandel won. Yes, he normal, normalize it. Uh, he, he, that's why I'm telling you, Michael Manley, I'm not good somebody. Michael Man, all right, look here. One thing with Michael Manley left the black people, and them, may I tell you, that's why I'm telling you, they're my dummy. Michael Manley make sure that black people, the only thing black people own in Jamaica are gangs. And what gangs do? Yeah. Destroy people's life. Yeah. Them, black people own the gangs, and the people, them are like Michael Manley, them own the banks and the businesses. Right. No and black people, no black people yeah. don't own a factory in Jamaica. Michael no, Manley teach him, say, as, them yeah, man, yeah, man. Michael Manley teach him, same time you make money, you buy a Benz and park it in a, in a, in a zinc up lane. You understand? So, yeah. I just, I just, that's where we reach them thing. Eh? But anyway, yeah, anyway, it's a joy talking with the man and have his, uh, you know, enjoy every side day. So, yeah, um, man, I will send you, I will send you the link for you, you know, for you join the, join the squad. And if you look on the top tier, you'll learn some things because you have access. Once you have the top tier um, in the Patreon, you have access right. to everything, to all of the other videos. Them. But the people them in the, in, the, in the first tier, some people even uh, upset the boy, you know, um, the first, the, the, the tier is so, um, you know, the the, the, the the price or the the, the the money where we have on them thing there we should have at least at ten dollar we tell the people them say look here we know you know this to make money on them thing we just here because we just want to share the information and educate the people them you understand right. we don't for no profit or anything like that because you have to understand that the website Patreon and Vimeo is them have to maintain it and people and you know so people them work there and all of these things so that's right, why right, right. you know so it's just really a fee on them thing there you understand so. I just saw it go. So you will have access on them thing there to um, videos, intimate information on them thing there where you, you won't be able to see it elsewhere upon YouTube because we don't share it there. You understand? Right. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Because they will block them off and take it off. And yeah, yeah. Well, no with that, no with that one thing there, but some of the information is too sensitive out there upon, the, uh, upon YouTube. Yeah. And YouTube, no with that one, YouTube, uh, you know, you don't want, we don't want to reveal certain things. Right. And, you know? Yeah. All right, my boss. So, blessed love, yeah? Yeah, man. Thank you. Thanks all right. for talking. All right, cool. Yeah, so as I've said before, and I'll continue to say again, the real criminals in Jamaica are educated people. You know? And most of you people don't understand. These are people that people respect. They are the real criminals. Just look with the three judges with Vibes Cartel case the other day. These are people that are respectable people in our society. But these are people that people are really afraid of because of their, the powers that they hold. Jamaica's deepest issues extend beyond the violence of street-level crime to the calculated, often concealed corruption of those in position of influence, individuals with degree, titles, and the, pub and the public trust. While gunmen may appear to be the face of Jamaica's struggle, they are a mere distraction from a more pervasive system, armed 
caused by educated elites who shape laws, allocate resources and control narratives of personal gain. So that's why I tell the Jamaican people them, say, look, your biggest enemy in Jamaica is the media houses. I don't think I joke, me, I mean. If Jamaica did have a nationwide, 52 years ago, Jamaica would be better. Better. Because nationwide is the only news media house in Jamaica that tell the people them the truth. The others them, they are propagandists and they are there to destroy the poor people. Because these people do not want the poor people to elevate themselves. They want the poor to continue to kill each other, eat or well, arm um, each other, and create the divide and conquer. That's why Jamaica is at this junction. So while gunmen appear to be the face of the struggle, they are the mere distraction. They are not the problem. These educated criminals, hidden with the respected institution, manipulate the nation's direction, perpetuating cycles of inequality, poverty and suffering under the guise of leadership. And the reason why we tell you that about the, these institutions, you have the place like the University to get a University of the West Indies. They are the one who want to tell us, hey, director of my sex organ. We are telling you that one or just straight. The University of the West Indies is a PMP, LGBTQ plus institution. Liberalism, up is down, down is up, and sideways is, sideways is up, and all kind of madness. They are the one that champion. You have your good, 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 good pitney. Where I tell you, yeah, your good pitney, our child, our children. And then left from your home, go to school and everything, then go to university of the West Indies, then come back like they're mad. At pure madness, them start talk. And liberalism, madness. And I tell you about the boy, oh, um, when, say, um, if God hateful, God, uh, him not serve God there and everything, all kind of madness them come with. So, true change would require, um, you know, looking past visible, immediate threats to confront those within power, structure, whose actions, though subtle, have profound and lasting impact on society. Only by holding those, these people, individual accountable, can Jamaica hope to dismantle the system that allows exploitation to flourish and begin to lay a foundation for real justice and integrity and progress. That's all we are saying. So I will tell you already and we will say it again. The real corruptors that you have in Jamaica are the Jamaican um, news media along with the elites, the educators. Them. These are people, enemy of poor people. So have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel out.